What's up guys, Ben Azadi here, certified functional health practitioner. So you wanna do keto and you're concerned because you are worried about the amount of fat you're going to eat and you think it's gonna make your heart explode. Or you've been doing the keto diet for a little bit and your doctor has just informed you that, hey dude, you've got high cholesterol. Or you have a family history of heart disease and it scares you. This is an important video for you to watch. You're gonna know more in 15 minutes than your doctor. When it comes to cholesterol, there has been a craze for a very long time. Eat low fat, eat high carbohydrates, eat your cereal, eat your grain, exercise more, eat less, yada, 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 yada. We know that America is a sick country. Two out of three people are overweight or obese. 60% of Americans are diabetic or pre-diabetic. People are dropping dead from heart attacks all the time. Even people who look healthy and lean are dropping from heart attacks. So let's talk about where all of this started first and foremost. There was a gentleman named Ansel Keys. Now you may have heard of this guy. He was a researcher back in the 1950s. And he was set out to prove to the world that cholesterol was the cause of heart attacks. So he went out and he surveyed 22 countries all across the world to correlate their rate of heart disease and he wanted to correlate that with the amount of cholesterol they were eating. There's one thing that happened though. He only gave data on six of those countries. Now, he said in his data that these countries ate the most cholesterol and they had the most heart disease. And he also said that these countries were eating things like butter. Now we have grown over the years and we've done research and we've figured out that this was one of the biggest scams in the history of the world. Not only did he lie about the butter, they were having margarine, and he didn't talk about the other countries that didn't show any correlation. Remember, he did 22 countries, but he only talked about six. So there's a lot of information behind that. I encourage you to do some research into it. There's, there's a great book called The Big Fat Surprise by Nina Teicholtz. It's a thick book. She goes into the research of this. Also, The Skinny on Fat is a great documentary by uh, Naomi Whittle to give you some more of a background. But that's what happened in the 50s and then in the 70s and the 80s, this guy was on Time Magazine in 1961. He was the result, the driving force of this low fat craze for so many years. Even in 1984, the cover of Time Magazine was talking about the dangers of cholesterol. A literate of the 21st century is not somebody who can't read and write, it's somebody who cannot learn, unlearn, and relearn. So what we're doing here is we're unlearning all that false information and we're relearning what actually is the truth. One of the main reasons why cholesterol gets a bad rap is because they find high amounts of cholesterol in the arteries when they do autopsies of heart attack victims. And it's true, there is a lot of cholesterol more than usual in the arteries of people who have had heart attacks. Here's the reason why. Cholesterol is repairing the damage. Cholesterol is like a band-aid, it's healing you. So blaming cholesterol for heart attacks, it's like showing up to a fire and seeing the firefighters and blaming the firefighters for causing that fire because they were at the scene of the crime. It makes no sense. It's the same thing with cholesterol. Cholesterol, it helps build raw building blocks for your hormones, right? Your sex hormones. We need cholesterol for that. Cholesterol makes up your cell membrane, right? You're made up of trillions of cells and the lipid bilayer, the cell membrane that protects your cell, protects your DNA, it's like the bodyguard of your cell. Guess what it's made up of? Saturated fat, cholesterol, and protein. So we're made up of cholesterol. The brain is 60% fat. It loves cholesterol. Cholesterol also helps you make healthy bile. Bile is the detergent for the human body. It helps break down healthy fat. Super important when you're gone keto. It also helps you produce vitamin D. Vitamin D is a steroid hormone and it's very important to have optimal levels of vitamin D. Cholesterol helps you get there. So here are some cholesterol myths I'm gonna debunk real quick. Do you know that more people die with normal to low cholesterol than somebody with high cholesterol. Total cholesterol and LDL cholesterol mean absolutely nothing, and I'm gonna show you why. And in fact, food doesn't raise your, your serum cholesterol. It's estimated that only 20% of food is actually 
affecting your cholesterol levels in the blood. You could probably eat 20 raw eggs every single day for 30 days and your cholesterol will remain the same. So I'm gonna give you an example of what to ask your doctor, what tests should you run, and why total cholesterol and total LDL mean absolutely nothing. Now you may have heard of LDL, people say it's the bad cholesterol, that's why you've seen articles about coconut oil being bad for you because it raises LDL. That doesn't mean a damn thing. This is why. First of all, cholesterol cannot move through the body freely. It needs to be carried in a vehicle. These vehicles are called particles. These are two particles. Let's talk about LDL since LDL is, always gets the bad rap. Now, if they measure LDL and the particle is full of cholesterol, they're gonna tell you that you have high LDL. If they measure your cholesterol and the particle is, has low cholesterol in it, they're gonna say you have low HDL. It's not really giving us enough data. Here's why. Sorry about my terrible handwriting or, or drawing. This is a car. Steering wheel, people in the car. I know I suck at drawing. I know, you don't have to tell me. Now, in a traffic jam, what's more important? The number of people inside of the cars or the number of cars on the road? Of course, it's the number of cars on the road. The number of people in the cars are irrelevant to a traffic jam. Same thing with your cholesterol. The number of cholesterol in the particles is irrelevant to how healthy you are. Now what matters is the number of particles. That's number one. And also the size of those particles. That's number two. That's all you need to know about when it comes to cholesterol. When you talk to your doctor, ask them to measure how many particles you have and what are the sizes of those particles because this is why. When you have a lot of cars on the road of this highway, there's gonna be cars that go off track, hit the wall, there's gonna be a lot of pollution from the exhaust pipe. It's gonna create a lot of oxidation. Oxidation, it's the cause of heart disease and heart attacks because it brings up inflammation. Inflammation is the problem. Eating healthy fat, eating cholesterol is not the problem. Eating the wrong fats are the problem. Uh, increasing inflammation is the problem. I'm gonna explain what does that. So when you get your test done, there's a great test that I test with my one-on-one -on -one clients. I don't care about their total cholesterol. I don't care about anything but this. It's called an NMR test. First and foremost, LDL was made by God. How could it be bad for us? There's two types of particles. There's the large and fluffy particles, and there's the small and sticky particles. The first thing that matters is the number of particles. The second thing that matters is the size of those particles. So this is your artery, right? In your arteries, the cholesterol goes in the particles through your artery. Now the large LDL, the larger LDL, these particles that are large and fluffy, these have, we have nothing to worry about. They, they go through your arteries very smoothly without causing any problems. It's the small, sticky LDL particles that we need to worry about because when they come into your bloodstream, they attach to your arterial wall and that ends up causing heart attacks and heart disease and strokes and a whole bunch of problems. So we wanna measure with the NMR test, ask your doctor, request it. Can you measure how many particles I have and can you measure the size of them? Okay, so NMR stands for nuclear magnetic resonance and you wanna make sure that here's the range you wanna go for that I tell my clients to look for. There's LDLP that it measures. You want that to be less than 1,000. Then you have small LDL, which is the small and sticky. You want that to be less than 500. That is all that matters when it comes to your cholesterol. Forget all the other stuff. Nobody can understand that crap. Now, if you wanna go a little deeper, you would look at inflammatory markers. You would look at high reactive, high sensitivity, C-reactive protein. You would look at homocysteine. You would look at fibrinogen. 
uh, that shows how much inflammation you have and you could correlate it with that. That's the only thing that matters. Now, what causes an increase in the small LDL particles? Being a sugar burner. Burning sugar for fuel creates oxidation, creates inflammation, and it creates more of that. So sugar is the culprit of high triglycerides, of heart attacks, of heart disease, and also eating the wrong fats. Because you could go keto and you could do it the wrong way and you will increase your small particles and you will get some problems down the road. What are the bad fats to avoid? 100% avoid vegetable oils, corn oil, canola oil, cottonseed oil, and safflower oil. Avoid these industrial seed oils because they create massive amounts of inflammation and it's gonna increase your small particle LDL and that's what causes problems. So you wanna become a fat burner if you haven't gotten my book already, it's free. It's a four-step process to becoming a fat burner. It's called the Keto Kickstart Guide. Go to ketokickstartguide.com to understand the basic principles. So you want to do that. Become a fat burner because your body loves when it produces ketones. It down-regulates inflammation. And if you have low HDL, eating more healthy fats will increase your HDL. And when you're talking to your doctor, Ask them to run the NMR test. It's the most accurate test that you can assess your risk of heart disease. When your doctor tells you you have high cholesterol because they're looking at your total cholesterol and they're looking at your LDL, as we just, I just showed you, that doesn't mean crap. So they're gonna tell you, hey, we need to put you on a statin. Now we know that statins are not good for you. They lower your testosterone. They also increases your chances of getting congestive heart failure. Okay, and they're gonna tell you to take it because they don't understand this. They're still following old research. They're, they're still on old philosophy. They're following what Ansel Keys taught. If they were to keep up with the research, they would never do that. They would look at the NMR first. And it's essentially the doctors are bullying their patients because the patient could say, doctor, I don't wanna take a statin because they have to take it for the rest of their life. The doctor is gonna tell them, hey, do you wanna have a heart attack or you wanna take a statin? That's bullying. Instead of that, doing that to a patient, why don't you give them some information? Why don't you talk about, hey, let's look at your NMR. Let's see what particles are high. Then we can make a decision whether or not we want to use that statin. That is what's wrong with the medical industry. That is what I do differently. If you don't feel well, you have to go outside of the box. I would love to coach you and teach you everything I know. If you don't know already, I have an exclusive online membership club called the Keto Camp Inner Circle. You'll get health coaching from me. You'll get all of my protocols. You'll get everything you learned today times 100. I have a section where you get all my notes, all my books, and you are part of this exclusive group of like-minded individuals. I would love to have you in my group. Go to ketocampinnercircle.com. That's ketocamp with a K, innercircle.com and join this club. I wanna have you with me. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'm releasing videos like this two to three times per week, every single week on my Keto Camp YouTube channel. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. This is the go-to resource for all things intermittent fasting and the ketogenic diet. Thanks so much, have a healthy day. If you wanna dig a little bit deeper into these resources and learn all about cholesterol and, and all about the myths that have been passed around for years and accepted as truth. I recommend the following books. The Paleocardiologist, The Natural Way to Heart Health by, da by Dr. Jack Wolfson. I recommend Cholesterol Clarity by Jimmy Moore. I recommend The Big Fat Surprise by Nina Teicholz. She's a badass. I recommend The Great Cholesterol Myth by Johnny Bowden. So dig a little bit deeper. I don't want you to believe anything I said. I want you to trust and have the faith to do some research. The only thing that matters are the results that you're getting. Faith and fear both demand for you to believe in something that you cannot see. I'm asking for your faith. So go ahead and dig deep. If I can help you, let me know.